Hi everyone, in this video I'm just going to show you a little bit about uh, how to make your pages and uh, content in Canvas a little more accessible. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this page, this is called Lecture 1, and this strategy works in everywhere you can type in Canvas. So that means assignment descriptions, discussion descriptions, um, your syllabus even, and um, pages, most definitely. So normally if I'm going to type something up in a lecture, I'll just maybe have an introduction here, I'll put some text in there, and then maybe I'll have um, point one, and then I might have uh, sub point one here. I'll put some copy in there, and then maybe I'll have sub point two, and then some text, and then I'll maybe move on to point two. So what I'm doing here is I'm establishing a hierarchy within my uh, lecture here that. Uh, students can jump around in. And I can do this visually. What I can do is I can make the text, I can use this font size here to make the text bigger visually. I can make it bold, I can make it italic or underlined, whatever I want to do. But if I do this visually, that does not change the way that screen readers will actually look at this information. So it's not very helpful to those who, are, uh, who have vision difficulties and things like that. So when you use a screen reader, it needs different coding. And so that in this drop down over here are some uh, HTML tags for different types of text. Um, so normal is a paragraph and so my entire text is all paragraph here. So if I took a screen reader to this page it would just read introduction gluten-free blah 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 blah. It would read everything just kind of all the way down as if it was not part of a hierarchy at all. But what I can do is I can actually make my introduction part of a hierarchy and I'll put it at heading 2 because that's my main uh, level. Um, probably point one, I want to put that on the same level as heading two, and where's my point two down here? And I'll put this as heading two. So when a student with a screen reader has, uh, is looking at this page, what they can do is they can actually jump. They can only read the headings on the page, so it'll be introduction, point one, point two. And then they can choose where they go from there, and of course then I would put sub point one, I'd put that as heading three, and that puts it below the hierarchy on this page. So then a student can come into my page and they can say, okay, I'm gonna jump down to point one in the headings, and then I'm gonna jump down to sub point two of point one, and that will allow them to skip over a whole bunch of content that they might not be interested in or might not really um, want to listen to on their screen reader. Okay, and then all you do is just save and that's how you use headings to make your course more accessible.